wants a Broadway.com water bottle. Hoots has one. It's a rare item. I'm just saying. Um. Hey, everybody. How you doing? We're live at Broadway.com, and I'm wearing a hat, and I have a beard. Not like Hoots' beard, just a, sight, a subtle, subtle beard. Um, how's everyone doing? Happy Monday. Does everyone have a good uh, weekend? See any Broadway shows? Anyone? Broadway shows? Anyone? Anyone? They went in New York? Bro maybe Broadway in your town? <laughs> they went to a nice Newsies hat. Thank you. That wasn't the goal, but thank you. Um, oh, hi, Bruce. Bruce Clickus, our photographer, is randomly watching us. Why don't you just come to work? And you can just see you here. Um, so, uh, how's everyone doing? I, uh, I did something really stressful this weekend. I, I, I tasked myself a while ago with coming up with the 50 best Roger Hammerstein songs. And I said that I would have it done in time for the King and I's opening last Thursday. And then I didn't finish it because it was really hard. Because I actually had to educate myself a little bit. I didn't know me and Juliet very well. Who does? Uh, and now I kind of do. And I think one song made it on, maybe two. Um, because, you know, Carousel's my favorite show ever. So it was hard for me to not just make a list of Carousel songs and rank those. But King and I is sort of the hook. But um, so there are 50, so check it out. And here's the, these, I'm going to tell you the top five. Number five is Some Enchanted Evening. So good, right? From South Pacific. Number four, Soliloquy. Hi, Stephen Pesquale. Hope you're watching. Number three, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. To Jackman. Check that out. Uh, Something Wonderful was number two. Ruthie Ann Miles is currently singing that in a King and I. will probably get a Tony nomination. She got an Outer Critics nomination today, didn't she? Yes. Congratulations, Ruthie Ann Miles. She was amazing in Here Lies Love as Imelda Marcos. And number one was, it was really hard to pick number one because, um, you know, when I did, I did a Sondheim list and number one was kind of easy because I knew it was finishing the hat because it, uh -huh, cause, uh, that song is brilliant. But number one, I went with uh, if, if, I, if I Loved You in Carousel because it's like this big chunk of music and I think it's kind of like really uh, forward thinking. Anyway, so that's number one. So uh, I'm not singing Let It Go, but thanks for asking. So let me turn up. Hey. How you doing? Did you I'm see any uh, theater this weekend? I didn't. I didn't. You're all done? Have you seen it. every show? No, I have two more. Tonight I'm going to go see Dr. Zhivago uh -huh. going to Russia. Right. And then on Wednesday I'm seeing The Visit and then I'm done. So you're almost done. I'm almost I, done. Yeah, I'm almost done too. How many more do you have? And then what do we see over the summer? Mamma Mia and Phantom? And Hamilton, hello. Oh yeah. And Amazing oh, right. Grace now is coming Amazing in. Grace, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did you see Fun Home again? What was your reaction? I saw Fun Home again. That's Sydney Lucas, I'm telling you. I saw it on Broadway. Uh, we we both we saw it both on Friday. Yeah, we did. Um, it's very different seeing it in Circle in the Square because it's in the round. It's completely in the round. Not every shot Circle in the Square is completely. It's got in the a pop-up set. Yeah, the boom, set boom, pieces boom. come out of the floor. The piano over here, over here. And it's crazy. I have to say, there's some things I loved about seeing it Circle in the Square, and there were a couple things I felt like I missed certain moments because I actually thought it was really beautiful at the public too in the proscenium stage. Mm -hmm. But um, but it's a great show no matter where you see it. And beautiful they, show. And they got a beautiful rave show. reviews, and um, yeah. they did not get Outer Critics nominations. Why is that, Beth? They're not eligible because they're from last season when they were off Broadway at the Public. See, I always get confused when these awards happen because certain shows, certain awards, like Outer Critics and Drama Desk, they give awards when shows are downtown, off Broadway. Right. They're eligible, and for the Tonys, they're not eligible. But mm -hmm. then it's confusing about which shows got nominated when. And I got confused today because the Pulitzer Prize got announced, and I assumed Hamilton was eligible. Not eligible. But I guess it's based on what opened last year. In and 2015. Hamilton, so why does it take them until the... 2014, I should say. So yeah, so why does it take them until the end of April to tell us their favorite show from last year? Why are you asking me? But I don't know, but you're happy with the winner, aren't you? I love Stephen Adley Gerges. Gerges? 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 Whatever. You I should know him. how to say Stephen it. Stephen Adley Gerges. I'm going to go with that. Um, for Who wants Riverside? me to tell you that he thinks... Hoots just messaged that he thinks you're cool. Th thanks, Hoots. We could have just told her. Yeah, right, whatever. whatever. Kind of weird. Um, it's like Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Bruce, 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 Bruce left. Um, yeah, I love Stephen. I went to his house. And yeah, I know. Him. Well, we, we you know we have that feature. What's it called? Tales from the Script. Tales from the Script. And what was the first person we did? Stephen Adley Gerges for Between Riverside and Crazy. So I feel like I. You shined the spotlight on him. I love it mm -hmm. for this play. Yeah, Between Riverside and Crazy. Which is set in a place very much like his real home. 
which huh. is a gorgeous place on Riverside Drive. Not to give anything away. Right. Apparently people... Paul, do you remember the girl who stopped you at the Newsies opening? Of course, I remember everything about you. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so you're very happy. I'm very Pulitzer. happy. It's Pulitzer, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's yeah, okay. I never learned I'm, how to say right. that. It's Pulitzer. Pull, 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 pull it, sir. Pulitzer. Pull it, sir. If you look on the website for Pulitzer, 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 it says Pulitzer. That's Pulitzer. Pulitzer. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I know. Now you know. Pulitzer. Um, hey, Hoots. Yo. You already made yourself known. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to tell really Beth. Close. Just wanted to tell Beth that she was cool. We're just, I look awesome. We were just having a meeting, and we, this, was, this, this video is the finale of the meeting. It is. Meeting um, over. Um, yeah. I'm sorry the connection is bad. People are saying the connection is bad. Is it, can I bad on my end? It's just, I think that's just indicative some, of the world we live in. We you have know? crappy Wi-Fi for a website. I, I think the say. connection between all of us is bad. I think all right, well, I'm going to move. Well, we're almost done. The connection. <laughs> Hoots, uh, what do you, what, you, have, what, you have something to announce. Why don't we walk into the yes. other room? Yeah, right, let's I'm do it. I think we'll get a little closer to the Wi-Fi. Sure. And then you can um, look at a plant. It's almost it's still uh, alive. I edited so, uh, Sierra Box's vlog today, which will go up tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, there was a very special guest star um, who stole the camera. Wait, is it Matt Morrison? It's who not stole Matt Morrison. John Kelly's camera. No, that was really cool. It was Neil Patrick Harris. <gasps> what? What? NPH. So cool. NPH. NPH is in it. Camera thief. Well, I don't. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't have it to show you on my computer. I'm sorry. Is the connection any bad? Any better, everybody? Is it any better? I, I feel like we're all closer to each other a little better. Closer to the Wi-Fi. Does it help? Please. I see more hearts. There's more hearts. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, I have crappy Wi-Fi in my office. Um, are you really pulling something up? No, I can't. It's oh, never mind. Sorry. All right. Well, it's good to see you. You too. Um, let, let's. Hey, Imogen. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right. You still? Are you recovered from your Gary Barlow? Uh, you know, I'm hanging on in there. Anyway, yeah. I'm off to see um, to do the uh, press night of Living on Love tonight, which oh, right. stars Renee Fleming, who's a big opera superstar. She's lovely. And we're expecting Sutton Foster on the red carpet. Nice. So hopefully she'll stop, um, and hopefully it will like not rain on us. It's been raining in New York all day. Yeah, it's kind of dreary out. So yeah, fingers crossed there. Uh, and then uh, today, my fa my favorite segment, if you've ever watched a Broadway.com show, is the thumbs down segment. She's very good at it. I, it's my favorite. Anyway, uh, today in my odds and ends, my daily roundup, I actually got to do a thumbs down. Um, and that was for Madonna, who turned up at Hamilton, which Madge. is- Madge. Madge. So the material girl turned up at Hamilton, which is the huge off-Broadway hit by Lynn manuel Miranda that's coming into Broadway over the summer. And she spent the whole of the second act texting, which you're not supposed to do. Anyway, so big thumbs down to her, very badly behaved. And Lynn manuel Miranda banned her from going backstage. He was so annoyed. What did you may ask you something? Mm -hmm. You were living in London when Madonna moved to London, right? I was. Remember yes. when she went to her London yeah, phase? Yeah, oh, I remember. She became Madge. Became Isn't Madge. that where the nickname started? Yeah, she was Madge. Yeah. And she was married to Guy Ritchie. Yeah. And what did you what did you guys think of her when she invaded your world? Well, we we um, made a lot of fun of her accent because she suddenly became transatlantic and tried to start speaking British, and then went around wearing tweed and bought a great big country house, which then Guy Ritchie got in the divorce. So yeah, we made fun of her. Yeah. Mm. Now she's back here. No, I produced a show about Madonna. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Yeah, oh, so gosh, Imogen the produced first time. Imogen produced this play. Yeah, in London. Everybody in 2009. Yeah. Touched for the very first time. Get it? Get the Get reference? Get it? Get it? Get the reference? The first night of many. Well, I haven't done another one yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, but what All was coming. it? What was it like? What was the, what Sorry, was the it was, idea? It was a one woman show which I found at the Edinburgh Festival oh. and brought to the West End mm -hmm. um, and it was all about this woman growing up with a backdrop, of, with a backdrop of Madonna songs which is about a Madonna fan oh. um, so it was like her life it was like this girl's life um, but it was with Madonna songs as a reference I have a really good idea mm. you should do it in New York starring Bruce Clickus do you, do you think a lot of Bruce people Bruce Clickus loves, loves a Madonna, and he can. I heard him sing Madonna songs. Okay, so that that sounds like dream casting. If not, let's just do it at lunch here. Well, that might Periscope. work. That might be a bit cheaper. We'll do a live Periscope. I'm, I'm, I'm cheap, so I think that's a much better idea. <laughs> hey, Lindsay. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? You, you know, we're in opening world right now. Oh, you, my gosh, You did yes. an opening last night. I did. I did uh, the opening night of Fun Home. I wow, got to go. big hit. Oh my gosh, there were so many big people there. It was yeah. like Broadway, you know, who's who of Broadway. Bernadette Peters was there and Vanessa Hudgens came by and she looked like a supermodel in her gorgeous dress and 
who else was there? Sutton Foster was there. Like pretty much everybody was like, I am obsessed with the show. I already saw it, you know, at the right. public theater, and I have to come back. And here's why. So that was really cool. Um, how were the, it was how fun. was little Sydney Lucas? She's adorable. She, I'm how really, old is she? Do you know how old she is? Um, let's check. I thought she was twelve. She, Let me check. She, she's very like. I'm sorry. I'm going to pick on the spot. No. But she. Um, She's so uh, pulled together for a little girl. Not, not that I'm saying little girls aren't pulled together, but like, right. you know, interviewing actresses, interviewing child actors mm -hmm. is difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, really it's difficult, very but it's difficult. Not, it's not difficult. Somebody just said Sydney Lucas for the Tony. Um, that is, I really like, I, I feel like she's a shoe in for a nomination personally. I don't know how you feel about it, but I, I hope that she is. And she's definitely getting nominated. She, and I think Judy Kuhn will get nominated. Yeah. Who has never won a Tony Award. Right. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that that's gonna be interesting. It, it is definitely could happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think either one of those are totally deserving, either Judy or Sydney. So it's gonna be uh, might be you know up against the two of them. Um, but... Somebody said show people interview, please. What with Sydney Lucas? Yes, that might happen. I, I like that, that idea might a lot. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, Queen of Doodles, who's a regular, thinks she thinks Judy Kuhn will take it. Oh, uh, should have won for chess, says Bruce Glickus. Mm -hmm. Bruce, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want Bruce Bickers to get to the opening, which we're now going to? The what? Bruce Bickers should be at the opening, which is where I'm now going to. Bruce so Imogen to is report. He might be at the opening watching this. No, I doubt it. <laughs> I somewhat doubt it. Bruce. Okay, here's how we can figure out Sydney Lucas's age. So we did a fresh face. Kathy Henderson Look how cute she did is. a fresh face on Sydney Lucas when she was age 10 in. 2000, December of 2013. So, so she's either 11 or 12. She's either 11 or 12. She's adorable. Yeah, she's she's great. Yes. And her brother, we already said this, but yeah. her brother is Jake, uh, Louis Jake Lucas. King and King I. Yes. That's and crazy. I know. It's like the most talented family. And I met the <laughs> two of them. We did this really cool um, thing where we went to Chelsea Piers and all the Broadway kids played in this ball pit and we right. took photos. And the two of them could not be more adorable, sweet, professional. That, I don't know what's going on in that family, but they're they're, they're, the, they're, next, pros. they're the next Sutton and Hunter Foster. They are they're, next Fosters. They're very cute. Bye guys, have fun at the opening. Bye guys. Uh, anything else you want um, to share? I don't know. No. Not really. No. I don't know. Just Are you busy, any day. busy day. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm through all the Broadway ones except for King and I. I have that one left this week. Mm. I'm seeing Grounded with Anne Hathaway, which oh. I'm excited about. Um, hopefully that'll go be good. I'll see that. Yeah, hopefully that'll be good. And uh, yeah, this is a lighter week. Last week I crammed out in like nine shows in a week, but this week is a little lighter, yeah. which is good. And it's almost Tony nomination time. Yeah, yeah. And we um, were, you guys especially, not me as much, yeah. are getting all the uh, the uh, predictions together. Oh yeah, that's right. And we're that's going to happen this week, which is exciting. We're so pulling together predictions. Yeah, so get ready for all of the uh, Broadway.com Tony predictions. Right. Later cool. Speaking week. of awards, I'm gonna go. Let's go talk to Ryan McPhee. I got criticized for my camera work last week, oh, so I'm I'm being very careful to not uh, <coughs> shake it up too much. I just want everyone, I just want to remind everyone I'm afraid. filming this with an iPhone. <laughs> that's just that's just a reminder. Uh, like so uh, Ryan, what the Auto Critics Awards? The yeah. awards season officially we are started officially today, underway, didn't it? Yeah. And we look, have a who, week and look, a day. look at this guy. Look at that. Brian Dusty James mm -hmm. and something rotten. So something rotten. Yep. What was it? it they was led the pack. They got 12 nominations. 12. Yep. 12 nominations. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's way well deserving. So which actor is from something rotten? We so, have Christian Borle and Brian Dusty James. And Christian Borle wound up in leading? In leading. Category. So I'm very curious to see what will happen next week for Tony nominations. Well, because it's not necessarily the same. This doesn't mean like that yeah, it's, exactly. it's going to be the same for the Tonys. So. And they're all below the title as well. So once we get that rolling from the nomination committee... So how does that work exactly? Tell, explain to everyone. Uh, if they are no, below the title... It's on or, the billing page Yeah, of the on the playbill. billing of the playbill. If they're above the title, they are automatically considered for leading. But they can petition to the nomination committee right. to either bump someone down from above the title to be considered for featured, right. or bump someone up from below the title to be considered for leading. Right. So we have to see what happens. Yeah. So you're saying Christian is, are, is, is above. No, everyone's below. Everyone's right below. Now, so, so they, they had, had to. to so they, they just thought that they. I think they just decided they were about. Yeah. So what else? Any other surprising things? Uh, here? Well, things that weren't on the list. <laughs> yeah, who got uh, snubbed? Finding Neverland. I know. Finding and Neverland. Honeymoon in Vegas. Both. 
were completely shut out this mm -hmm. year. Um, which even if they weren't included in Best Musical, to not see them on the list at all was a bit disappointing, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So what were the Best Musicals? So in American in Paris, did um, really well. The it should have been you did very well. Yeah, it should have been you. Uh, got a considerable number of nominations as well. Uh, the Last Ship was up there, nominated yep. for Best Musical, and uh, The Visit. Wow, yeah. wow. Also, only three plays this year. Remember last year when we were complaining about only four musicals being nominated for the Tonys? Right. But Outer Critics Circle, only three plays, all of which are uh, British productions. Yes, yeah, so the plays are The Audience, Curious Incident, and, uh, well, Paul. Now, the, so what are the obvious snubs there? Well, the two, I would say, American productions that would be frontrunners for the Tonys actually weren't eligible this year for the Outer Critics Circle. It was uh, Hand to God and Disgrace. Right, because they were off Broadway first. Yes. Right. Uh, so those were actually nominated in 2013 and 2012. Right. Huh. I wonder if Airline Highway was eligible. Yeah, I was actually wondering that about that because that hasn't opened yet right. on, officially. So, And then there were a few other plays as well, Living on Love. Somebody says really Michael Service has a, a fair shot of winning. The Tony. I think he's definitely one of the front runners. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was actually happy to see Robert Fairchild nominated for an American in Paris yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, total newcomer to Broadway, so it'd be exciting to see what happens with him next week for the Tonys. And now the Drama Desk come out Thursday. Yes. And that's right. going to be interesting because they actually, don't they mix Broadway and Off-Broadway together for musical? This one has separate lists. Well, for the actors, they are... Uh, the, oh, the actors, they're combined. Yeah, for the performers, they're combined, I believe. But, like, I know for, like, like Hamilton's going to be interesting, because I think Hamilton will get a lot of Drama Desk nominations, uh, and so it's going to be an interesting mix. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, no performers from Hamilton were nominated today. Yeah, what's that about? Yeah, I mean, they received plenty of recognition, but right. I found that very odd. Yeah, yeah. Who who would be your number one performer to nominate from Hamilton? Yeah. I love Dream uh, big. Yeah. Who? Renee, Renee, at least, Goldberg. Yeah, she's great, her. huh? She's great. We love her. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Anything uh, else? No? Uh, what are you up to, Caitlin? Anything you want to share with the people? Well, I have no voice, so... She, you have no voice? I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm sorry. So I might be a bad person. Do you want to sign language? <laughs> Alright, everyone pray. Think happy thoughts for Caitlin to get her voice back. <laughs> so that she can be a part of Live at Five. Alright, good luck with that. You want Thanks. some tea with honey? Let me get you some tea with honey. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, anything else, Hoods? No, you're here, looks good. Thanks. Uh, hi, Joanne, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. you want to share anything with people? Um, I don't know. What's your favorite Roger Hammerstein song? My favorite? Yeah, that I should grow um, up I really like Edelweiss. I think that might be my favorite. Edelweiss? Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of Carousel as you are, so mm -hmm. I like Sound of Music a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I think it's my favorite Roger's name. Oh, I like Sound of... I might like South Pacific a little bit more than Sound of Music, but... Right. Yeah. Can I, I, I just have to, I, I see some something sweet tart? Yeah. Can I have, can can I have some sweet They're tarts? actually from I'm Bruce. sorry, this is unrelated to the show. Bruce just, left them and I was supposed to refill the bowl. Thank you. I just got distracted by the. Refill the bowl. Wait, it's sweet tarts. They're ducks and chicks, bunnies. ducks. And does this mean it's old Easter food? <laughs> is that what this indicates? <laughs> so we don't know who's hosting the Tony's officially. Me. Hoots is? You are? Any other question? Anyone? Anyone? I hope you watched something boss on Pro Table. Um, Edelweiss is great, somebody said. Good song. Uh, Alex, what are you doing? Uh, uh, say hi. Can you do what? What? Uh, green screen. Okay. That's green screen, people. I'm not really standing there. <laughs> yep. Why not? About it. Miss Cast saw Black Tango Thoughts. I thought it was funny. But didn't I see that same idea done at something else? Wasn't it done at the, um, what's the show called where men sing women's songs, women sing men's songs? Yeah. Anyone? Mid -cast? Mid no, the other one. Broadway Backwards? Broadway Backwards. I think Broadway Backwards did the same thing. Hey, Nick, you got a haircut. I did. How you doing? What do you guys think? Um, you have a production you can promote that you saw recently. Yeah, I did. Um, it's called You're in Town. Oh, You're in Town. Yeah. I remember You're in Town. And uh, it's at the St. Bart's Theater. You never saw You're in Town before, did you? I have not, no. Uh, my sister stars in it as uh, oh, Little who, Sally. What's your sister's name? Lauren Chakra. And she plays um, Little Sally? Little Sally, yeah. With the pigtails? Yeah, with the pigtails. And the sassy attitude? Yeah, yeah, she's great. So, uh... 
think it plays for another week, so uh, go get your tickets. So people hot. in New York, you should go check out Urinetown. Yeah. If you're in town, check out Urinetown. <laughs> Do it up. You know what Everybody. else about Urinetown? I saw something on the cover of the newspaper today that, like, they're going to make it less of a offense if they if you get caught peeing on the street. Oh, good. They're not going to send people... Is that good, is that good yeah, for you? Yeah, in real life? Yeah, it's good for me. That's yeah, good it's good for, for me, yeah. Okay. Right, I've gotten better at that over the years, though, so... <laughs> You're very mature now. <laughs> yeah. Who's that guy? Sam Gold. That's Sam Gold. That's right, the director Sam of Gold. We got, we got... You want to see some servers? Oh, yeah, there'll be some servers. All right. Well, he's directing the opening. He's editing the opening. Oh, there's some servers. Speaking of future future and past 20 winners... <laughs> that's him. Hit with hair. Man. Cerberus. Oh, Cerberus with hair. Him. Cerberus bald. Cerberus, Cerberus with hair. hair. <laughs> that's awesome. And then running. Yeah. Wow, look how magical it looks. Wow. Oh, wow. Dust that, dust that piano. Welcome to the fun home, everybody. Okay. Well, that was long enough. Um, did you get your voice back yet? No. Okay, great. All right, cool. Thank you, uh, everyone, for... I'm going to um, sign off and show you pretty soon. All right, bye.